You just had a sneak peek of what's to come in this final episode of the Denia and Patna video series. Links are in the description for the previous episodes in case you missed our struggle to find the path to Patna sliding rock. But we finally made it. As I said, this walk or the hike I should say is going to be fun and exciting as we will have to go through tea plantations. Await for some expert tips and surprise guests at the end of the video. As we started the hike, we first met Shadow, a dog who loves being on the water just like this and he was very friendly with us too. Then as we continued our walk, we could see the Patna sliding rock in the distance. But we were far away from it in the middle of a tea stay. The path wasn't all too easy as we had to go down through the tea plantation. But then we met some friends, a lot of them and they were goats. <laughs> As we made it down the tea plantation, we went across a small streak and the water was super cool and refreshing. Now we have to hike up the other side of the hill. Then our walk continued and we had to go through this area with wild bushes which almost covered the entire path. Once you go through this section, you definitely will need a bath. Hey. <laughs> And here we are. We finally made it to the famous Patna sliding rock. Just look at this place. The rock is smooth and perfect for sliding. The water is crystal clear and refreshing too. The best part? It's all natural. This isn't some man-made water park. It is all nature's own creation. As it was a holiday, this place was a bit crowded. But generally, on weekdays, it is very much a deserted place according to the locals here. Even with the place being crowded, there was no rush. We joined the party and had some fun in the water. We took turns sliding down the rock and let me tell you, it was a blast. <laughs> the water makes the rock super slippery so you glide down effortlessly. It's like having your own personal water slide in the middle of the jungle. However, it didn't take long to remind us that safety comes first. Guys, it was slippery and you had to be really careful while standing up on the rocks. And here are some examples. You got to be careful down here. Also, always check the water flow before you slide. Sometimes after heavy rain, the water can be too strong. Once you slide down, you are coming at speed towards the rocky area too. So you have to be careful on your landing.
Luckily, no one was injured during our time at this natural water slide. And we had a great time as the dev one else who were here. After having great time, we then started our walk back. It started raining a bit too, but luckily for us, we didn't face much trouble with leeches. But we met more goats as we continued our walk back towards where we had our vehicles parked. I think we had to walk something like 2 kilometers or so, maybe less. I'm not too sure because, but it feels like a lot more with the path being a bit tough and difficult however it is worth every bit of it here we are we made it back to the top and you can have a look at the surrounding area as this is where you have to stop your vehicles if you are choosing this part to get to the patna sliding rock i don't know what exactly this place is called but it is really easy to find any locals you ask on your way back would tell and direct you to this location and you will not have any issues whatsoever and currently parking and everything is free here hopefully it will stay that way too as we end our journey and say goodbye to patna we just encountered another beautiful creation of nature a sri lankan peacock Hope you guys enjoyed our journey and in case you missed any of the videos, you can check back with this playlist right here. See you soon with another epic Sri Lankan travel experience.